Hey guys, finally he sleeps here with an update on week two of team of the year and some strategy recap and new avenues of investment to consider. If you are completely free to play, you've completed all quests and you open four to five gem packs from stored gems, you should be about 4,000 to 4,500 uh, position points short of two starters at this moment with 14 days still remaining. Still 2,520 position points on the line. That's 1,500 to 2,000 position points we're still waiting for EA to come through on for a second starter and time is running out. If you're trying to figure out where that 2,520 position points remaining figure came from, uh, you'll need to watch my previous videos to see how that math is configured. <sighs> Personally, I dipped into my wallet and bought that first $5 flash pack a week ago, which gave me 200 attack and 200 defense points towards my goal. I'm not messing with midfield, so those 200 points towards midfield were pointless. I finished all the quests this past week and opened one last 3750 gem pack, which dropped me 400 defense points, but no player. I went back and finished both the master campaign though and the, this week's weekly campaign just for the gems, which helped. And I've been using those gems 500 at a time to unlock the last eight team of the year points every eight hours, that little bonus uh, option which translates to 40 position points every time you do it. Hopefully, you took my advice from last week and started splitting your position points between two tiers to find that sweet spot to know when to stop. Uh, I measured mine down to the position point after completing all those quests, the ones that kicked back random position points. Right now, I'm 1,497 short of Mbappe on attack which is an obvious second choice because I shifted focus to defense where I'm 2,717 short of De Gea. De Gea is going to be worth a lot more than Mbappe. Because of gems, 500 at a time for that bonus team of the year position point, I have 41 team of the year points in the bank. Right now, without buying any of the progressive packs, based on the math, I'm going to get De Gea and have three position points to spare. 2,520 of the eight hour on the eight hour resets and 200 from that 41 spare team of the year points, which is great, but it's still leaving me 1,500 short on Mbappe. I have enough team of the year points in the bank for bonus on five more resets. Because of the max 20 that you can use every 8 hours. You can't just throw all those on at once. So you have to figure that in too. There are 42 resets left. Minus the 5 that I have. That leaves me 37 possible resets that I could earn bonus for. Even if I was able to come up with the 500 gems every 8 hours. 37 more times in the next 14 days. That would only add... 1,480. Still 17 short of what I need for Mbappe. I'm not coming up with 18,500 gems, so it doesn't even matter at this point. Likely I'll come up with about 2,000 gems before it all ends, which is 160 more position points, which is still 1,337 short of Mbappe. If I bought the first two progressive packs, I'm not. But if I did, it would only be 200 attack points. I'd still be 1,137 short. <sighs> Which leaves me with this very disheartening realization. EA screwed us. Two weeks left and they still haven't released a way to gain additional position or team of the year points free to play. I'm very close to just losing faith. The only saving grace in this whole mess is that the market is taking a nosedive. It's even quicker than expected. I was watching the market for starters this week 
uh, waiting to see how quickly they were dropping, hoping to find someone ahead of the curve that I could pick up cheap and sell quickly for a few million profit. Last week, I made almost four million on De Gea, or De Bruyne. This week, however, he he's been holding between 28 and 32 million. I bought one for 22, hoping it'd turn around and make me three to five million profit before I could even post him. Uh, n- with a buy it now of 26 million, another one pops up at 22, and then another, and then another. He took a six million coin nosedive in a matter of four hours. You can still pick him up for 22 million pretty consistently. The only explanation for this dramatic drop for that player is Champions League and Team Heroes. I believe a lot of people are either realizing that Champions League cam. De Bruyne is cheap or completing the team heroes for the center mid De Bruyne or they're expecting to in the next two weeks to be able to complete the team heroes which means that cards demand went off the edge of a cliff Uh, so I'm keeping his team of the year card and maybe taking a little bit of a loss in the process 22 million it's more than I wanted to pay for him but it's one I was going to buy anyway so it is what it is I, I'll just sell his team hero because the team team of the year card, even out of position uh, as a cam put into center mid, still gives me a higher overall because of the boost. This leads me to another point. If you are investing in team of the year players to be able to sell after the event is over, two things. One, wait a little longer before investing. Prices are still dropping. I'm assuming the last five days of the event are going to give you the best prices for investing. And second, avoid investing in players that have high rated duplicates. That team of the year Neymar uh, is going to be a dead card. Champions League and Domination, there's too many cards on the market now for him in that position or something similar. Messi and Ronaldo are both going to be lackluster cards because both will have so many variations in this game that team of the year is going to get lost. So if they're already dropping, they're not going to come back up that much. De Bruyne and Kalini, obviously because of the team hero cards and the Champions League cards. Avoid Bundesliga. Uh, The league just isn't popular enough. Uh, You don't see that many players using it. And Lewandowski, it's... He's... It's Poland. It's not a country that it's going to fit into a whole lot of uh, people's squads. Right forward, left forward, and center forward, they're not my favorite. Uh, I I don't like investing into any of those positions because there's only a few formations that are using them and they're not the most popular. Also consider Champions League. There's so many Champions League players that are in that Masters range that are all over the market that they're competing with the Team of the Year cards. Personally, the only players I'm looking at investing in are any defensive starters I can get. The 89 Loris, 89 Oblak, starter Conte and Modric. Most of the others have duplicates in Champions League with similar overalls and stats, so I just don't see their prices coming back much. They're not going to go up after Team of the Year ends. Just be smart. Final thought. I'm still holding out hope that EA is going to come through for free-to-play guys on that second starter, but if they don't, plan wisely. Secure your first starter for sure. Hope for the best. And plan for the worst. There's still a ton of coins to be made making buying the starters you want the last week still pretty easy, especially with all these dropping prices. Buying two to three of them should be easy enough if you have 30 to 40 million right now. Last, squad building challenges, SBCs, they're coming. How soon we don't know, but we know they're gonna they're going to show up in the game. Now is the time to invest in elites and high level golds, either for use in your own SBCs or to sell once they release. 77 to 79 rated golds and 80 to 83 rated elites. 
That's where the magic's going to happen. That's it. Keep playing Team of the Year. Keep grinding away at it. Hold out hope that EA isn't just a money-hungry corporate machine hell-bent on sucking our wallets dry one flash pack at a time while they sit in their little ivory tower and giggle at our scrambling around like a million little ants in their farm. Okay, good luck.